In this video, I am going to talk about primary image for an entity or primary image for a table. Now, in Dynamics 365 Customer Service Hub application, there is a case entity. So, you can see over here, these are all the cases which is part of the application which is listed over here in the form of list view. Now, if I navigate into any of the case, so take for example, this one, internet not working. Okay. Now, over here, this particular record does not have any image associated. So here, if you see here this part, you don't see any image, right? There is a way whereby you can assign an image to every record of a table. Okay. Now, what do you mean by that is I'll give you an example. So take, for example, if I go to contacts, okay. So let me go into contacts. Now, again, like cases, these are contact entity. And if I navigate to any of the contacts, say this one, now you see here, this is technically an image. So Amy Gonzalez, AG is an image. So if you don't, do not find an image, then it will take the uh, first two characters uh, okay, uh, of uh, the word okay, and, and render it as an image. Now, let me navigate to something else. So let me go to clay, you know, then you will see CC, okay. Now, let me go to other records. So let me show you it in this view. So if you see Abraham, like there is an image. For Allison, there is an image, right? And for Diana, there is an image. So like this, we can have a uh, table image. I would call it as a primary image for a table. Now, how do you replicate this for case entity? Is first thing what you need is you need to have a column, okay? So I'm in the case table okay so you need to go into the back end case table and under columns you need to create a column which you will call it as maybe let me call it as case primary image you can name it anything but make sure that you put a proper display name and description and from a data type perspective let me select it as file and image okay and no more changes on advanced option, but remember here there is an option which says mark this as a primary image. Okay, so let me mark this as a primary image and let me save this. So this is an important step. So what you're essentially telling is you have created a column. You can have multiple image column within your table, but for this particular image, you're marking it as primary image. Okay, so I'll just save this. <clears throat> Now, once you save this, you need to uh, make sure that whenever someone opens a form, you know, they upload some image. Okay. This is, this is uh, not directly applicable to case entity, but I'm just giving you an example. Okay. So uh, let me close this. Yeah. So if I navigate to say, say case entity over here. Now in this case entity, if I navigate to say one of the record, Okay, so let's let's take uh, say demo tab. Here maybe we will add that column. Okay, whereby someone will go and upload that image. Now, how do we do that? You need to uh, edit the form. Now, how to edit the form? Again, you need to go back into case table, go into the forms, and from the forms you need to open the relevant form. For me, it is case for interactive experience, which is already open over here. Now, let me go back. And again, let, let me close this, okay? And let me open it from here. So case for interactive experience. So I'm opening this form in an edit mode. And we need to add that uh, column. Now I can see that column over here called as case primary image. Now we are going to add that column in the form. Once it is loaded. Okay, let me add it in the summary uh, for summary uh, section, summary tab itself. So let me add this case primary image over here. And this is now added. Let me save and publish.
So the first step what we did is we have created a column of type image and then mark that column as a primary image. Okay. And once that is done and once this is saved, let's go back to case record. Let, let's do a hard refresh. and go to one of the record and under summary oh i'm in the wrong form so let me go into the case for interactive experience form under summary i can see this case primary image column which we have just added now let me select from here and let me add some image file okay so let me add a bird image now this is the bird image which i have just added i can open the image i can delete the image but i'm not going to do anything i'll just click on save okay now it says there are some mandatory field let me mark that mandatory field and click on save and now this record is saved now the moment the record is saved i should be able to see something over here as an image okay so internet dropping off is the record so let me save and close and now again go to case record and see whether that image pops up or not no the image does not pop up so we may need to do something else as well now let me go back to the form here now this is a tab this is a control okay this is a, these are sections now if i click on the form itself you know if i just click outside okay outside this is the form so see the highlight okay this is the form this is a section uh, and these are the tabs okay so if i select outside section so that means if i select this entire form there is a button over here there is a checkbox which says show image now it says show the table's primary image if it has one set so if i click here let me save and publish now this is the last step you need to do in order to show the image for that particular entity or a table Once that is done, let me refresh this page. So watch for watch out for the space over here. If the changes are reflected, then you should be able to see some image over here. Now, if you see here, you can see this image. That means our primary image is working fine. So let me go ahead and go to another record. So this is internet dropping off. Let me go into some other record and see whether the changes are reflected immediately or not. So this is internet not working. Now, if you see here, if there are no primary image set, it will take by default uh, the first two characters of the word, okay? Now, if I select choose primary image and if I select, say, something as associate, then if you see here, this image is here, okay? It is not yet reflected because we haven't saved the record. The moment I click on save, this should change. Now, this has changed, okay? Now, again, if I go to cases and if I go to, say, say maybe case two, and if I click on record set over here, then you can see the primary image over here so that's the purpose of basically having primary image within your table entity uh, now this is quite not applicable for cases but then if you have accounts or contacts or anywhere whereby you need to um, show the image of a particular record then it is useful for you but this is just an example and that's why i have picked up case entity to show the primary image so that's it for this is all about having those primary images within your table or entity within Dynamics 365 Customer Service Hub or any model-driven application. Thanks for watching.